Okay, so let's talk about pricing architectural photography. It is an ocean of a topic with no right answers. <laughs> and Are there wrong answers, though? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of wrong answers, no right answers. <laughs> no one-size-fits-all answers. Right. So where do you even begin? You know, a client comes to you and they say, I guess you have to, you have to slim it down to what is a typical job, you know? Um, a client comes to you and, and they want 15 to 25 photographs of a project. You know, where are you based? What is the amount of time we have? What is the usage going to be of the photos? How complicated is it? But I think we should just keep it to a simple, as simple as possible. Sure. You know, uh, the average job. So for you, what does that look like? I mean, I, I have it structured by a day rate plus a per image fee. That's what I do as well. Okay. Yeah. So I would think, I, I mean, again, if you were to survey, say a hundred architectural photographers, do you think that's what a majority of them are doing? Yeah. Uh, they call it different things, creative, day rate, whatever. Is that how you probably have your ear to the ground much more than I do? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, my, my approach, well, my thoughts on that, I do the same thing. And my goal with the day rate plus per image fee for, is just to provide it's just to provide clarity, right? I feel like just the day rate is this, is this, it's an, what is it? It doesn't, it, there's no finality to it, yeah. right? What are you getting? So is, do you get into these situations where just a shot of that, just a shot of that, just one more, Yeah. you know, how do you, how do you curb that? I think every photographer has been there. That way you kind of separate your creativity from your editing from the product. So with the day rate plus the per image fee, you have the fee for your time on set and the fee for your post production, and that is that way everything's sort of accounted for, and you don't get backed into this corner where you are being taken advantage of because oh I have you for the day keep taking pictures. Mm -hmm. What the clients don't know is that adds hours and hours and hours and hours of frustration to your life every time they say can you just get a shot of the doorknob? Yeah. Can you just get a shot of the carpet? <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I found that the day rate plus a per image fee is the way to go. Now, a typical job for me might be 15 to 30 pictures in a day. I don't know if that's within your range. Yeah, I mean, if someone asks, uh, you know, how much could I do within a 12-hour day, I would say anywhere from 15 to 25. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of variables of course. to it. But, yeah, I mean, within a range. If someone says, hey, I need 30 images taken within a 12 hour, 10 to 12-hour period, yeah. I'm like, that's, that's going to be tough. Right. I could do it, but you're probably going to sacrifice quality on maybe, you know, a few of them. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd rather give you more quality over quantity. I've told people before, even back when I was doing real estate, I'm like, I'd rather give you three stellar images of a kitchen yep. rather than, you know, 15 that of a kitchen that are mediocre. I yeah. want to give you those hero shots for, for everything that we're shooting. It will, I think we'll get to this eventually as far as the, the actual like hard numbers, but we touched on it on the previous one where if someone's asking for your your rates, you're more of the mindset I am too, let them know. Don't him haw around it. Don't yeah. play your cards close to the chest. They're asking you to potentially hire you. So tell them your numbers or at the very least give them a range. Estimating a job, what all are you including in there? Clearly your numbers, but are there other things that you put when you hand over an estimate to a potential client? Yeah, it's usually I don't get involved with creating custom estimates for 80% of the jobs, 80% of inquiries that I get, I pretty much a boilerplate rate sheet is what I send. And that rate sheet, it explains how I work. It's, it just ex it outlines the expectations right off the bat. And it's something that I can just send from my phone from if I get an email. I don't need to get super involved with going back and forth. It's just like, hey, thanks for the inquiry. Here are my rates. So first page, day rate. Second page, retouching fees. Third page, what all is included in this? Yeah. And in most cases, the, the standard average job I do, you have to give the client some usage. Now, am I charging the same uh, for some huge advertising shoot where the images are going to be plastered all over the, the world on yeah. billboards and on TV? No. But most of my clients aren't doing that. It's, it's architects, it's developers, it's real estate agents, interior designers. In that rate sheet, it explains you can use the images on your website, on your social media. Mm -hmm. You can use them for contest entries. You can use them for internal use within 
You can email them. You can do printed collateral, which is basically marketing materials that you make on your own. Uh, and I stop short of you know editorial usage and advertising usage. Uh, ed- editorial usage should be paid by the publication. When your photos get picked up by some magazine, yeah. you should have a budget to use the photos. Are you even putting that wording yeah. in the message? Yeah, like if, if specific you know, to editorial. For editorial. Uh, the exception would be if a monograph about an architect or interior designer, they can use the photos at no charge in said monograph. Okay. Um, because it's, it's a book about their work. I'm not going to double whack them sure. for, for that usage. And so that that's all in there right off the bat. So everything is, again, upfront, clear. They understand what they're getting when they pay for it. So I, I don't really even get involved, like I said, with estimating individual jobs. It's basically a here's the fee. Mm-hmm. Take it or leave it. Here's what you get. I hope you like it. If you need yeah. something outside of this, let me know. Most people don't. Again, I've been doing this for long enough to know what the needs of most of my clients are, sure. what the potential needs of potential clients are. So I try to include that all right off the bat so they can take that PDF and chew on it for a bit. Yeah. So because I know end use will vary between one client to another. So you're kind of sending, I think you use her boilerplate initially yep. right out of the gate. And then if they have questions or you find out more information after the fact of, uh, hey, we're, we're also going to plan to use the image on this type of platform or other use. And you're like, oh, okay, well, that's not included yeah. in there. Right. Will you go back and revise it, I'm, I'm assuming, or right. at least educate them? Well, it's going to be a higher rate or something like that. Or has anyone ever asked you, can the price be lowered if you take some of those usage usages off the table? Like, well, I just, oh, we don't plan on using them for social media. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get into the... I don't get into the little... The weeds? Yeah, I, I'm not... I just basically... Look... You're, you're running a business. If you want to spend time, uh, if they're coming to me looking for a discount, there's worse, worse ways to figure that out. Yeah. You know, maybe we can do less images. No, I, I generally don't budge on that. It's basically take it or leave it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I just, I just don't think it's worth the concessions that you're going to make. As soon as things start being eroded, it's a slippery slope. Sure. You know? So, but again, I've been doing it for long enough where I can just say, look, I, I'm going to make it to next month, <laughs> you know, so I, do, I don't need this job. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to work with you. Of course, I'd, you know, love to start another working relationship, but not at the expense of all of the work I've done to sort of build this up to the point to where it's at. Yeah. So, and I don't know if you have a similar policy or if you're more flexible, but. Um, I do, I do send out the PDF uh, of an estimate on occasion. I use um, Square for a lot of my invoicing yeah. estimates, and a lot of that is just built in yeah. where you send an estimate and someone clicks accept, and it automatically turns into an invoice, which is great. It's right. like out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, for, for the most part, like for, for current clients who are hiring me over and over, I don't have to estimate jobs. They know my rates. They know generally how much, uh, how many photos I'm going to deliver, so there's not, there's no guesswork. Here, and I can't speak for every photographer in Kansas City, for majority of the jobs, I don't have to give a formal estimate. I can maybe tell them a number over the phone or yeah. tell them in an email, and I will tell them what all is included. And a lot of times, even to cover my own bases, I will say, you know, hey, yeah, here's here's my price, and that does include, you know, standard, I'll use the term boilerplate use, website, social media, all that sort of stuff. And then when I get back to the office, I'll shoot that in an email to you so you have it in writing. And yeah. a lot of times... I'll just put it in an email, you know, maybe one paragraph's worth of information. So that's a lot of times that's how I do my my estimating. But one thing I, I do make sure to put in there is the usage that they are getting yes. in there. It's very important. Yeah. yeah. You have to let them know that up front, especially with some clients, clients who I'm sure we'll get into later on, think they can do whatever they want whatever with them. They want. Yeah. And we have to let them know up front <laughs> my <laughs> boilerplate usage yeah. means these six things and anything beyond that will need some sort of additional agreement or additional contract. Yeah, one else. of the worst feelings in the world is someone texting a picture of a magazine saying, hey, man, awesome photo. <laughs> so cool to see uh, your yeah, photo. It's in like, there. you know. That's no, weird. I didn't that, see a diaper. I didn't sign up for that, yeah. 